Well, a Warwick woman learned her fate today. 18 years in prison after pleading no contest to the death of her adopted daughter nearly three years ago. Brittany Schaefer was in the sentencing and has the new details. She joins us live in studio. Brittany. Well, Brian, the Superior Court judge called Michelle Rothkeb narcissistic, abusive, and cruel. He ordered her to serve the maximum sentence on all 10 charges based on the plea agreement. Michelle Rothkeb sobs at the stand while accepting responsibility for the death of her nine year old daughter. It's my fault. I'm responsible. I'm the mom. I'm supposed to take care of it. I did it. In January of 2019, Zanae Rothkeb, who had cerebral palsy, was found unresponsive in a bathtub after being left alone for hours. Police say the 58 year old left her adopted children in the care of her 15 year old who has Asperger's syndrome. The nine year old's body temperature just 87 degrees when she arrived at the hospital. Naked and alone, cold and wet for eight hours in a bathtub. Rothgeb is also facing seven additional charges of child neglect for each of her adopted children and one count of animal cruelty. The children ages two to 15 at the time are now with different families. The adoptive parents of one of those children pleading the judge to have no mercy. When Sean gets hurt, his first response to us is to go run and hide because he doesn't want us to get mad. When I see what my son has gone through and all the other children, Please don't be lenient on her. Rothgeb pleaded no contest to all charges against her earlier this year. This afternoon, after emotional testimony, she nodded as the judge gave her the maximum sentence. This has emotionally shattered me. I love my children, but I'm ashamed and I'm very sorry. And again, Rothgeb was sentenced to 18 years in prison. Coming up new at 5, why the state says she did what she did. For now, live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Warwick woman is sentenced this afternoon for the death of her adopted daughter. I'm responsible for that. I can't even tell you how bad that hurts to know. Michelle Rothgab pleaded no contest to several charges, including manslaughter and the death of nine year old Zanae Rothgab. The 58 year old was given the maximum sentence today. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer was at the hearing. She joins us now live in studio with more. Brittany. Well, Mike, Michelle Rothgeb took the stand today accepting responsibility and apologizing for her actions, but her tears making little difference to the judge as he sentenced her to 18 years in prison. The judge calling Michelle Rothgeb narcissistic, abusive, and cruel as he hands her the maximum penalty. In January of 2019, Zanae Rothgeb was found unresponsive in a bathtub after being left alone for hours. Zanae and Rothgeb's seven other adopted children all had developmental issues. The 58 year old also facing seven additional charges of child neglect in one count of animal cruelty. This has emotionally shattered me. I loved my children. They were my family. They're gone. The defense says DCYF indicated Rothgeb had a long standing record of excellence in child care and went to her to foster special needs children. But prosecutors claim it was a ploy. Narcissism and greed, not just for money, of which she received substantial amounts, but also greed for Facebook likes, for the social media publicity, and the strangers' messages praising her perceived selflessness. And adopting special needs children. The children, ages 2 to 15 at the time, are now with different families. The adoptive parents of one of the children say their son was mentally and emotionally abused. He's been through more than we will probably ever be <laughs> through in a lifetime. And he was filthy, he was dirty, and he was hungry. All he needed was love and care. Rothgeb pleaded no contest to all charges against her earlier this year. This afternoon, she sobbed to the judge, then later nodded while being sentenced to 18 years behind bars. But I'm ashamed and I'm very sorry. And this case led to numerous changes at the Rhode Island Department of Children, Youth and Families, which include a cap on the number of children allowed in a foster home. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.